G'day and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and Hort Belleron. Yes, we are back in France and we are continuing on with our farming here in France. And we're just kicking off with finishing off, turning over our grass field here, field 36, and we're going to make that our sunflower or canola field. I'm not sure which one we're going to do yet. I think it was going to be sunflower. Anyway, right, let's uh, have a look and see where we're at and what we need to do. So, um, we've got... Plowing to do in field, well, it's now CP1, course play one. So that's our combined field. Um, we've got some finish off the plow or cultivating here on 36 and then seed that. And then we've got field 30 to do as well. Now, I can't remember exactly what I said in the last couple of episodes. It's been a, a few days since I did the last recording. So I'm just going to play it by ear anyway. This field here will be, uh, these two fields are going to be sunflowers, I think. Yeah, they're going to both be sunflowers. And I think uh, this field here, we're going to make that oats. So that, that's what we're going to do. So oat, sunflower, sunflower. And I think that should be uh, what we need and will suffice what we need to get done. So let's go and see what we've got hanging around equipment wise. Um, this is what I'm after. So we're going to grab the case and I'm going to go grab the cedar. So we'll grab the Amazon cedar here. I think that's good for oat, should be. And we're going to go and start seeding. All right, just got to fix my pedals. There we go, it's a bit better. Right, so let's have a look and... There we go. Oh, it is. Now we're going to go fill up. So we'll go over here, we'll fill up and uh, then we'll head off and get this guy seeding. Now, we have got course play enabled now. Uh, we have been utilizing it. I, I want to send a, a bit of a shout out to, to Phil Otto. Um, who else was there? Uh, Jimmy J certainly was talking to me and, and explained and, and helped me. In fact, we were doing a bit of solo play and um, taught me through a couple of things. In particular, the new um, or newish. Um, panel, UI panel that come, you can come up, bring up and, and get going. That's made it a lot easier and fixed a lot of the problems I was having with the earlier versions of course play. So um, that's all TD Boost. So thank you to them guys for, for sticking it to me and getting me to, to come back in and try it. So um, that's all good. So without further ado, let's get going with it. So CP1, this is a field that we manually created with course play. Um, that's why it's given the designation CP1. And we are now going to uh, use that to seed it. So we're going to go here to our jobs. We're going to create a job. Fieldwork CP, so course play. Uh, this is the field we're going to use here. And I'm going to say our target position is going to be there to there. That's fine. Open the course play course. Right, 40. That's right for the width. I'm going to do two course play. Two headlands. Uh, smooth. Um... I normally do smooth or sharp. I'm going to do I'm going to do round and just see what it does in this version of course play. Up down's fine because we're just seeding. Uh, that should be fine. So we're going to generate the course, and that's the course we're going to be doing there. So that should be fine. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go. So we start job. If we escape out, here he goes. He's setting his way over to the start point, which is here. He's going to unfold. He's a little bit off. I hope there's no um, there's no offset set, so that should be fine. And goes preps himself. There he goes. He's lining himself up nicely now, and away he goes. Excellent. We've done the round, so it's going to do nice smooth corners on the outside, which is fine. I, I don't care if we lose a little bit on the edges because um, I, I thinking rounding the fields off is better anyway. So I lose that little bit of ground, but make gains elsewhere. All right, so he's he's off and running. Excellent. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to just save this course. So this is CP1. So that's the court. That's the folder we're going to have, and then I'm going to save the course in CP1. And this is going to be Amazon Cedar. Okay. And then that means that we've, sa we've saved this course now for that field. So if we need to come back and do the seeding the next time with the same seeder, um, then we just pull that course up and away we go. Excellent. 
Right, so we can leave him to finish that off, that's fine. Now, around the farm, what have we got to do? Let's have a bit of a look-see. Um, I need to fill up, start up my time again. First thing I need to do, there we go. Uh, 15 was right. So, uh, we offloaded some honey and stuff previously, I think. Uh, so we've got no orchard stuff there. We've only got a little bit of wool. I think in the last episode, we sort of pretty much offloaded everything to the um, thingamajig, the warehouse. So let's go and have a look. I'll pull up what we've got. Uh, so we've got eggs. We've got 4,000 eggs. We've got some wool in the warehouse. Um, we've got grass coming out of the yin yang, which is good at the moment. Um, we do need to put a hay dryer in, though, um, for later on. 7,000 sunflower oil. Um, so we've got some apple, cherry, lemon, orange, pear, and plum stored, which is fine. Uh, and that's good. So these units here, these are all new. So um, Black Dragon, who creates the Dragon Den mod, uh, which is what we use for the orchards, has now got a new um, building in the mod. I'll bring that up and just show it to you because we are going to be installing this at some point. Uh, where are we? Do, 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 do. There it is, the fruit processing factory. So the fruit processing factory takes all our standard fruit, including strawberries and sugar, and you can create the jams and the sodas um, that we showed before. So um, we can produce the, the apple, cherry, grape, lemon, orange, pear, plum and strawberry jam so the strawberries become more used to us now other than just the bakery for the apple pie um, and we got um sorry juice not soda so we're apple cherry lemon apple and cherry juice orange juice plum juice and pear juice strawberry juice and we got lemonade um along with we've also now got uh we had apple pie and cherry pie before uh, apple pie and strawberry pie sorry before and then now we've got cherry pie grape pie lemon pie orange pie pear pie and plum pie Excellent. All right, the other thing we've now got too is cocoa. Um, so cocoa is used to make chocolate, and the cocoa bean comes from um, Black Dragon's uh, Dragon Den Pack greenhouses. So we're, we're not worried about that for the moment. So we haven't got any milk, so we haven't got cows, so all that sort of stuff, don't worry about that for the moment. Anyway, all right. So I think we're okay. Now, this guy here has finished, so they, we do need to tidy up. So let's just tidy this up a little bit. Fix where he hasn't gone, and then we can um, look at uh, getting this seeded as well. And then um, we're uh, we're on a on a winning winning margin. <clears throat> now we just have to work out. Now the the plan would be, I think. I think what we've worked out we're going to do, this this field that's ahead of us to the north um, is one of our next purchases and that that will end up being my main grass field. That'll be my perpetual grass field. Um, I know we talked about all different options previously but I think that is where I'm going to be best suited to do it. Um, so that's that's the plan at this point in time. So the next, the next field we're going to buy is that field and we're going to utilise that for um, for our grass don't need to rush into that obviously that's why we're, we're going to do that one next instead of using one of the existing ones and turning that around um, anytime sooner um, but we got plenty of grass from using a relatively large size field so um, we know that just by doing that one field will certainly be enough to build up the grass certainly more from where we are now um, for the future I mean our grass demands at the moment, the moment aren't very high because we don't have any cows um, and we've only got the one shed of sheep. We haven't got a huge amount of sheep in there at the moment either. So um, we've got a bit of time to um, to develop and, and store up grass and hay and all that sort of stuff, and uh, straw as well. And that's part of the reason why we're getting, oh, the cars have collided. Well, at least they don't just collide with me. Um, and that's why we're gonna get the, the oats in because we need to start picking up some straw and getting a, a bit of straw piled up as well. All right, just going to leave that there for now, as we always do. All right, I just want to make sure there was nothing over at the shop. I don't remember buying anything, but I just want to make sure. No, there's nothing there. All right, let's go over here and have a bit of a look-see over at the greenhouses. 
So here we have the greenhouses. They're obviously short of water. So that's why they're not producing much at the moment. We're, we're short of water. Right, now what I'm going to do, I've done something similar to Port Belleron, whether you see that about the same time or not, I don't know. What we're going to do is I'm going to come into the construction here. Now, the greenhouses, these are the Dragon's Den ones, as you can see there. Um, I'm going to replace these ones through here on the as the left-hand units, as we look at them, um, with these Dragon Den ones. So while there's no water there, I'm pretty safe to do so. So we're going to delete that one. Delete that one. Delete that one. Now I'm going to grab the Dragon Den one. Oh, actually, that's not going to work, is it? I've just deleted the wrong ones. Uh, bugger me sideways. Right. Let's change that. So we're going to put that one back. That one back. And that one back. And then we're going to delete that. That. And that. Right. Now we're going to put this one in. Now we've got to line that up. They're not. They won't snap the same way as the the uh, the ones from Robert Bernard Duke because he's got them set for an angle. I think it's a 15 degree or 12.5 degree angle. I think actually more the point. Um, but anyway, we it'll be it'll be close enough. There we go. And one there. And this one we'll put him over. Yeah. Whoops. A bit far over, but anyway, that's okay. That'll be fine. All right, so there we go. So we can get them back up and running, um, and that'll be fine. So let's go back. We need to go and get some water. So I'm going to grab the tractor and the water tank, and we're going to go off and get that running. Seeding's going along fantastically over there. Whoops. Actually, where's my... Is there another... Have we got another cedar here we can use? I think we do have another one. I'm not sure what that one seeds. Uh, let's have a quick look. Um, yep, that'll be that'll be fine. So let's get... Well, let's get the zeri on. Now, it's the smaller cedar. We're using... This is where it doesn't really make sense, I guess. We're going to take the smaller cedar and do the bigger field with the smaller cedar. Um, that's okay. We can just set and forget, so it's all right. We can... What was if I actually connect when I can? Right. Let's... Um... We'll fill him up. All right, that's all done. Let's go. <clears throat> and again, we're going to put this on a course, play course, set and forget him. And then um, we're going to go off and do the greenhouse and all that sort of stuff as we need to. Okay. Let's set you up now. Right. And there we go. So we're going to create a job again. We're going to go to the course play field work. There we go. Field position. There we go. And that. Um, we're going to do four headlands, smooth, clockwise, 7%. It's fine. I'll drop that down to 5%. Um, that'll be fine. Generate, open, close, and start job. No, we're not doing that because we've got no money. So we are... Uh, right, this is where I've stuffed up with... Okay. Let me show you. I did mention this in Riverview. Automatic repair um, 
is set to repair. So basically what it did then is just wiped out the cache we had um, by repairing the tractor. Um, I'm totally unhappy with that. That's not good. Right. So it's... Um, so for both tractors, I've just wiped out our money by doing the repair. So... Hmm. All right. Well, we'll come back to this in a minute. Um, and see so you've stopped there too. All right. Uh, bear with me two seconds. I'll be right back. I, I, I stopped recording for no apparent real reason. I didn't really need to go away. So what I'm going to do is I've had a look at the finances. And there's, there's 29000 of vehicle costs there. So what I'm going to do, I, I can't sort of cheat money in to cover off that repair because I still repaired the tractor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow $30,000. Um, and that puts us back sort of to where we should be, and that's what we're going to do. Right, so um, you can continue like that, and then we can get you working as well. Right, now we're back to where we should be, and now I've turned off the repair option with course play. It just means we have to repair the tractors ourselves and not worry about... Uh, course play ripping money off us right two series in a row i've done that too anyway it's all good <laughs> all right let's go get our water filled up where did i put our water hmm i think it was over here somewhere wasn't it where did i put our water i can't remember where i put the water not there did I actually install it, or did I not? Hmm. I think I removed it and I haven't installed it again. It's not up here with the orchards, surely. Nope. Right. I'm going to have to put a water source in, a water hydrant, so I can get my water. Sure, I put it in. You know, obviously not. Okay, so uh, best place for the water is going to be this corner here, I think. That's out of the way. So we're going to go install that. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Let's fill him up with water, and then uh, we can go fill up the greenhouses. Bit of an ordinary start, wasn't it? Okay. Covers off, refill. All right, so let's have a look where we're at now. So he's almost finished with the seeding, which is fantastic. Um, he's partway around with the seeding, which is fine. Uh, oh, no, hang on. What are you seeding? Well, I changed that. I'm sure of it. Okay, maybe I didn't. Uh, stop. Right. Start that again. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll work. Man, what a horrible start to this, this episode. Anyway, what else can go wrong? Right, shouldn't have actually asked that. Yeah, you're good to go. You're full. So let's go and start filling up these greenhouses. And there's going to be multiple trips to do this, so um, it's just got to be done. We haven't got a huge water container to, to do it with any larger capacity. I mean, this is, uh, what's this, 15,000 litres. So I, I probably could get a bigger water trailer, um, noting how much water we do need to provide, um, which is only going to increase between uh, more greenhouses and orchards and stuff like that. Um, but um, I guess for the moment, we're uh, probably be okay. What I might do, actually, so I'm going to put another one 
Another, um, da -da -da -da. Over this side. I think I had one over here originally anyway. Um, I think we might put that... Put that there. That'll be fine. But the cost, the cost of it is well worth it because um, we're going to do so many to and fro trips um, and it's logical to have a couple of items around the farm in different places. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough to deal with that there like that. Although this greenhouse, <clears throat> it's bloody boundary boxing. Uh, covers and then fill. All right, so let me have a look and see how this is going now. That's better, right? So uh, the other guy has actually finished. Where is there? So we can move him off from here. We can also refill him, but I'm not going to do that as yet because, as you can see, money-wise, we well, actually, all I need to do is refill the seed, isn't it? Um, is our other field ready to go? I think our other field is probably ready to be seeded. So we probably can go and do that. Um, and get both of these, or all the fields done today, effectively. Um, so let's see if we can do that. That wasn't too bad. So we're full of seed there. So we can head on over now to our other, our newest field and um, get a course going on that and then get that one going. So then we'll have both of our sunflower fields will be done. Now, before we get over there, I'm going to change my seed type so I don't have what happens with the, the other field just there. No, I haven't got sunflower with this. So that's why I'm not going to do it with that. All right, that's fine. Um, Yeah, you know, I'm not going to worry about sunflower. Let's have a look and see what we can put in. Maybe, I'd, maybe I do for the first run through. We do oats again. Have a look. Um, or I could wait and do sorghum. No, let's do some oats. Let's put another. Let's put another thing of oats. I think the sunflower will be enough in that one field. Um, so let's um, let's stockpile. This will give us some, a good stockpile of of, um, of crops. So let's just do that. That's fine. Mm. So why we need to invest in um, a couple of other cedars. Probably the Kinseys um, would probably be a good option for those. But anyway, right. Let's go. Let's set him up. So over here. Right. Um, where am I going? Create job. CP field work. Go okay, open close. Five percent of headland overlap. I'll do three headlands on this one. We're going to do round and generate the field work. There it is. Um, actually, let's right. Let's make that smooth. Yeah, let's let's do that. We'll do we'll do that. That'll be fine. Uh, open, close, and start job. Right off he goes. He's going to get that going, and he's definitely doing it fine. All right. Continuing on with our water now. Now what we need to do is we need to set these up as well. So we'll go in here quickly while we're offloading water. And they're going to be underneath all these now. So tomatoes, lettuce, tomatoes, lettuce, tomatoes, lettuce, tomatoes, lettuce, tomatoes, lettuce. Um, we will do cocoa bean in these ones as well. There we go. Uh, cocoa bean. Okay, tomatoes and lettuce. Right. 
And off we go. It's going to take us a few trips to do this. And so one and a half loads from each trailer to fill up the... Um, well, some of them anyway. So some of them will have more water than others, actually, if I remember correctly. So... Um, this one here is taking nine. So these ones, where are we? So that's 20,000 for the rubber burner ones. And for these ones, I think it was about 40,000 for the Dragon's Den ones. Wow, that damn collision on those greenhouses. Such a pain. All right, let's go have a look at these guys. Oh, there's a bit of grass left there. I didn't come back and do that grass. Hopefully that'll just wipe that out and it'll be fine. Come back and do this corner a little bit later because it does leave a, a bit there because of the tight corner. Then we obviously have to come over here and roll all this as well. It's all right, all good, he's progressing. progressing nicely too so that's that's good we're we're getting things done okay we go continue filling up and what we'll do for the moment is I'll just do for the rest of these, I'll just do one trailer load per greenhouse and that will be more than sufficient. And then um, the rest of it, I'll, I'll fill them up off camera. Instead of boring you endlessly with, with an episode and a bit with uh, filling up the greenhouses. I might also, um, well, it's pretty, it is pretty quick at the moment, the water outlet speed. I might fill it up a little bit, speed that up a little bit as well. Um, we'll just see how things go there. All right, that one's running, that one needs some water. Right, time for a wet the whistle. Okay. Oh, where am I going? Jeez. <laughs> oh, right, this is the episode of showing you things you shouldn't do, obviously. <laughs> I did say, what else could go wrong? All right, so we've got three out of seven done. Is that right? Three out of six done. At least start it off. Now, also the Dragon Den greenhouses can have um, manure added to them as well to um, maximise production. It gives you a, a faster production rate. And I have, however, we don't have any uh, cows or pigs to provide with manure, so that's not going to be an option for us here today. Um, or in the near future, but uh, once we do get some cows up and running, then we'll be able to maximize the potential output of the greenhouses and also the orchards um, with manure. So, just not yet. Uh, two to go.
and ultimate. I'll just have a look and see what we've got in the way of um, options for water. Um, just out of curiosity, I do have a couple of different options actually now available to me. Um, I do have this water truck. Capacity is only 8,000 litres. I don't think that's got an expansion on it, has it? Um, yeah, no, it's, it's only 8,000 litres in, in that. That's fine. Um, I thought I had another one here. I do, but I don't have it enabled. Anyway, that's all right. Um, Animals, so the Abbey's um, 8,000, that's 32,000. Um, these Abbey pack ones, 6,056. Now, up to 28,000 or 24,000, which is what we've got. We've got that there, uh, 8,000 for that, and 24,000. So I don't have much in the way of options of different water um, carrying capability. Um, so nothing really higher. So that's, that's okay. Um, We'll leave with what we've got, I guess, and um, we'll uh, we'll wait and see what else we find coming out from our our wonderful modders. Uh, something may may be out that I haven't found yet, and if there is, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you know of anything that uh, may help us out. Doesn't I don't want really large trailers. I don't want to be using road trains because obviously you can't get them in and around um, the greenhouses here like that. So. Um, yeah, but if you know of anything, let me know or ping me on ping me on Discord and let me know. <clears throat> right. Last greenhouse to fill. And like I said, we'll come back and tidy all these up a little bit later and fill them up. Right, while we're filling that up, let's go and have a look and see how they're progressing. It's continuing on nicely, that's fine. It's progressing. What we'll do is once we've finished um, here, in fact, let's have a look. Um, I want to have a look at my sales at Deutz Far. Oh, an 8250. Nice. There's a roller. Oh, it's an 8250 and a 9250, both on sale. Man, and a Takano. Wow. Um, 191 for the Takano. 224 for that. 382. Mm. It's, it's tempting, at least at least for these two. Um, and there's a power flow header. Wow. Um, okay. All right. Let's just, let's just run away quickly. We might consider those. Um, I'll have to see. All right. Finish with that. So let's, um, got path the escarpment. Move back over here. We'll leave the truck here to fill up. Well, the, sorry, the trailer here to fill up. And we'll head back up to the farm. So we'll fill you, disconnect, and just let you fill up. We've got a bit of grass we could be mowing at the moment, too. Um, so that's that's something we could be we could get done as well. Uh, but I need the grass at the moment for the sheep. Mm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Brain's in full engagement mode. But I don't really need that much grass at the moment. So we might just leave the grass for now. We've got plenty of silage over there. Um, yeah, okay. All right, let's have a look and see what else we've got to do. Um, we've got the John Deere. I'm almost going to be the point where I'm going to need a second combine, to be to be honest. 
Um, Is that are those deals too good to pass up at the moment? Noting that, let's have a look at the farm. So we're going to have two big fields here to do. Yeah, no, I, I guess we should still be able to manage. Uh, let's have a look at the price of this one, by the way, while we're here. Two hundred eighty-eight thousand. Okay. Um. I still need to find somewhere else to put um, more production items, so more orchards and more greenhouses. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if down here is the place to do that, actually. Uh, let's visit here and have a look. So it needs to be relatively flat. Now, this is a... It's not too bad here. It is only a small area. Um, how many orchards I would fill in here wouldn't be many, especially if I did the large ones. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I'm only going to get two orchards in there, the large ones. If I did the medium ones, two... I could probably really push the friendship and get three in. So one, two, no, three wouldn't fit either. So I couldn't get six across. So that's probably not really an option either. Um, whoops, where have I gone? Yeah. Um, okay, so go back over here. This is relatively flat. Maybe maybe this doesn't become my grass field. Maybe this becomes uh, my orchard area. Well, look. So the large orchards, if I was to put them in that orientation there, probably better off going that way aren't we so one two three i put six in through here plus some greenhouses um that's an option certainly an option yeah i'm gonna have to think about that i'm gonna i'm gonna load this up as a solo game and and play around with that as as options and see what we're going to do because uh, it's definitely what I want to expand more. I want to expand the orchards and the greenhouses. Um, and I also want to get some cows in. But the cows are going to be a lot more expensive. So, um, But that's okay. We can. We know the cows are going to be expensive as I'm about to run out of seed. Um, and I can deal with that. It's just a matter of finding the best location for them. That's, that's the imperative part of what we're going to do. Now, I mean, ideally, I guess one place to put the cows will be this field here we can sacrifice this field this field is probably um a better place um let's have a look see animals cows now i could quite quite easily put in one I could put in two cow barns here, and that would fit, and I'd have room up here to do um, more sheep or anything like that if I wanted to. So that's certainly an option. Um, it's just the price, so 722,000. Um, I mean, we could bring it in even as close as here. Yeah, there's plenty of room for that, certainly, um, even if I orientated that way. Maybe, maybe that way might be the better way to do it anyway. Um, then we come down this way. One, two. I'll put three cow barns in that way. And I could have a couple of sheep hens and that up through this way if I wanted to. So that's probably, that's probably going to be the best way to go. So that's what I'm going to do. So this, this field we wiped out. 
uh, for the cow barns. But as you can tell, I need one point or two million dollars to put three cow barns in. So anyway, that's all right. All right, now you are going to need to. I'm going to let you continue, and then I'll, when you've finished with your seed, I'll then um, take your refill. I think we'll finish off this now and we'll um, come back in the next episode um, with the completion of the seeding of these both these fields. We'll come back in the next game day. I'll finish doing all this um, off camera and uh, that's where we'll return because we're well and truly running out of time now. So um, that's what we'll do. So if you like the episode, I know it was a bit catchy Tory at the start. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, comes in threes. So um, yeah, hopefully we won't have that problem in the next episode or going ahead. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like the episode, press the like button. If you didn't like the episode, press the dislike button. We don't mind either way, and it uh, just gets that interaction with the channel. Don't forget, that also helps with the Google algorithm either way. So um, ping that like button for us. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed and you like the content, make sure your friend you let, let friend you let's know. Let your friend knows. Let your, <laughs> let your friends know. <laughs> Jesus. And of course, don't forget to press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when more videos like this are available on the channel. Hopefully they won't be as bad as this one. Anyway, apart from that, come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord and Facebook. All the details are down below in the description. And of course, like always, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solid Gaming and Hort Belleron. See you later. Bye.